everyone, welcome to Class Fit Sugar. I'm Amy Skemper and today we are doing a 30 minute kickboxing cardio sculpt workout. In this workout, we will be alternating between some kickboxing intervals using just body weight and some sculpting intervals using a resistance cord and a step deck. I'll be using the medium version of my resistance cord today. And of course, if you don't have any equipment, you're still gonna get a great workout. Let's start with a quick warm up. We're gonna go ahead and just take it to a little march or a jog, whatever feels best for you. Let's roll through those shoulders to the back and then to the front, getting those arms ready to punch. Of course, in this workout, I will give you lots of different options to take it high impact, to keep it low, do what feels best for you and just keep moving with me today. Let's take it to a little hip roll, roll through those hips. And don't worry if you don't consider yourself a boxer, it is all about getting the heart rate up. We're gonna have these quick circuits, five minute and four minute blocks. Sit low in that squat and bring it up. So we will get it done fast. <sighs> Driving up through those heels, let's add that hip roll to that squat. Sit it low, here to here, rolling through. One more, let's warm up through our back and our spine. We're gonna to turn to the side, little inchworm out. So hinge here, walk yourself out on your hands if that feels good for you. Walk yourself back, big reach up. Let's do that two more times. We're also getting the core fired up and ready to work for us today. One more just like this. Feel that stretch to the back of the legs through the spine. And then let's take it to a little boxer shuffle. So as we continue to warm up, we're gonna talk through a little bit of our boxing form. So we have our two sides, our right and our left, orthodox south call, but we won't worry too much about that. You can keep your weight shift in that boxer shuffle grounded. You can take it up a little bit. And then we're gonna have our ready position. So hands are right beneath the eyes, sort of right at the chin, core is in tight. And as we punch, I want you to think about pulling back just as much as punching out. So we're keeping it tight. You're light on those feet, whatever feels good for you. So go ahead, angle on one side, core is in tight, bring it through here. We're gonna start with just our basic jab. We're gonna go one and two. Little pivot on the knees and the hips. Ready, here we go. So jab and jab. We're starting here. You decide if you wanna pick up your pace a little bit, you can. If you need to take a little slower, that's okay too but strong punches and pulling back. I like to imagine I'm actually punching something, like a bag, but do what's best for you. If you need to get out some aggression, this is a great time to do it in this workout. Let's take it single, so we're out in. You can step into it, just like this, or you can add a little jump. It's up to you. Breathe, in and out, and then we're gonna take this jab corner to corner. So we're here. And here, you can step it too. That works. Keep breathing. We've got four, three, two, and we're gonna take it back here. Watch me, we're gonna go one, two, one, front knee. Take it slow, jab, 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 and knee, or jab and cross. Bring it strong. If you want, you can pick up that pace. As we're getting into it, that knee is just that little front chamber. Pull it in tight. If you're able, let's pick it up right here. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three. I like to make a lot of sound effects when I box. It helps me get through it, and it also helps me remember to breathe, which is what I want for you. Let's go eight. Pull them in. Up strong. Think about that core coming in as that knee comes up. And then strong punches all the way through. Good, let's take it a little bob and weave. So you're just ducking that punch, right? We're gonna angle to that other side. You can take it nice and slow. Angle the other way. Core in tight, ready position. It's your jabs, one and two. So everything we just did on the other side, we're here to here. Again, pivot, pivot. So knees and hips are turning while we get those strong punches to the front, from the front and from the back. Keep it going. We've got four, three, two. Good, take it here. We're going singles. Step it out. 
You can take it slower. If you need to even be here, that's fine too. Heart rate should be up. Out in four, three. Let's go corner to corner. Here we go. Step out, corner. Just that little angle, punch back, punch back. Really feel those back muscles as you're pulling back. Get a lot of back and core from this punching. Four more, four, three, two. Let's take it, slow it down. We're going one, two, three, and knee. Jab, 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 or jab and cross. Use this slow round to really nail down that form. Bring that knee up and here, yes. Offense and defense. One more slow. Keep it here if you need to, or take it up. One, two, three. Jab, 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 knee. You can even jump into it if that's good for you today. Yes. Strong eight. This boxing circuit is almost over before we move into some sculpting. So finish it strong. Four, three, two. I want you to keep those knees. Take them here and down. Pull through and down. This is prepping for our next circuit where we're gonna add some kicks. Four, three, two. Bob and weave right here. Down and up, right? Little half squat, sneak it in, in there. Keep it going. Four more, four, three, two. We're gonna finish it out with a little jump rope right here, nice and light on our feet. If you'd rather, you can keep it low impact right here. But just as if we were boxers training in the gym, we want that agility training. We want that endurance training. We're gonna finish it out here. We're gonna grab a sip of water. We're gonna grab our equipment and get some sculpting. But stay with me for 15 seconds. Can you pick up that pace? Yes, you can. Breathe through it. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Quick sip of water. We're gonna grab our equipment, but let's grab a sip first. Don't forget to hydrate. So we got that cardio kickboxing. Now let's get a little sculpting. I think it's also gonna get your heart rate up as well. I'm gonna bring my step deck in and my resistance band. If you don't have a step, that's okay. You can use a step stool or you can keep everything body weight on the floor. If you don't have a band, you can use a set of dumbbells or just body weight. We're still gonna get it done. We're gonna put one foot up on the step. Core is engaged, watch me first. It is a step up, so you decide how much you wanna make it a lunge little half squat down. We're driving through that front heel, keeping our body weight up. If you're on the ground with it, you can make it a deeper lunge, reverse lunge, step into it. We'll start with that. We'll add a little crossover. We'll take it to the other side. Then we'll get some upper body with our band. One foot up on top, dropping it low in three, two, one. Here we go. Step it up, down and up. Anytime we're using a step, it's gonna be a little bit of balance work as well, right? So really think about that core coming in. Navel the spine, little tuck of the pelvis. If you need to go slower, you can. Drive up through that heel. We're gonna get a little leg burn. And again, we'll keep that heart rate up. Four more right here. All the way through, front leg is taken, the weight. Watch me here. We're gonna cross it over in a curtsy and take it back. Cross it over in a curtsy and take it back. So activating a little bit of those outer thighs. And breathe, down. Good, four more, four. Keep it going, can you get a little lower? This leg is almost done, two. One more, hold it down right here. Cross it over and back. I know, can you get low? Even hands on the step or hands on the floor. Burn, four, three, two, yes. <laughs> Let's take it on the other side. I'm gonna move my step this way so you can see me. 
Let's take it here. Other foot up on top. I know that one's burning, but we're gonna work it out with this. Let's take it down and up. Here we go. Little half lunge up. Or again, if you're on the ground, you can still get the same move. Just taking it down and up. Weight is coming forward, especially in the step. You're not pushing off that back leg. Front leg is driving it up. Hands can be wherever you need them to be to stay balanced. We've got four, three, two. Can we cross it over here, right here? Take it back. Take it here. Yes, breathe. Yes, I know. It's like your other leg told this leg what to expect, and now it's already burning. Four more, here we go. Four, breathe. Drive out of that heel. Yes, you can. Two, one more. Good, hold it low, cross it over, cross and back. I know you're feeling it here. I want you to really think about those glutes. Mind-body connection. Let's make them work harder. Two more. I know, shake it out. Grab that resistance cord if you've got it. Let's give those legs a rest. We're gonna take it down in the center. If you need to wrap those hands to make it a little tighter, we're working our back straight up and down right here. Squeeze. If you're like me, your heart rate is up from all of those step ups, right? So I really want you to concentrate. Exhale on that squeeze, pull that core in. If that feels too easy, grip a little closer to the center. Tighten up the grip on that band. That's what we love about these resistance cords. So easy to make it harder or easier depending on what you need. Good, take it out in front. We're gonna take it more like a row. So you're pulling your elbows back. You're still pulling those shoulder blades in. Everything else is the same. Again, if you need to make it tighter, tighten it up. Squeeze. 10 seconds. Then we're back to the boxing. Hopefully you feel those back muscles. They worked hard with the punches. They work hard with the resistance. Three, two, and one. Who's feeling it? I know I am. All right, give yourself a second to shake it out. I'm gonna move this back out of the way. Shake those out. We're gonna start this boxing block with some knees into some kicks. So all you need to think about is that chamber move or that setup, knee here for the front, knee here for the side. We'll start with that. We'll take it to a kick out front. If you need to, keep it low. If you're able, keep it high. And it can be that push kick through the heel or little snap kick, whatever is good for you. So go ahead. Take it to that boxer shuffle. A few more seconds to breathe. Water if you need it. But starting with that front knee, side knee, and then we'll take it to kicks. Core's in tight. We're gonna stay straight on for this. Why not? Three, two, one. Here we go. Guard up, knee and knee. Starting slow, up and knee. We're here, pull it through. Really think about lifting from the hip for both, four more slow, pull and side. Get those obliques and that core working. Two more, there's my balance, that's okay. Let's take it to a kick, right here. Kick and kick, pull it through, take it out. Again, you can do push kick, push or snap. That's okay, keep it going, that's gonna happen. That is part of it, right? That's my core working harder. I did that just so you would feel okay if that's happening to you. <laughs> it's normal. Here we go. Four, eight, and up. Seven. You can step into it, get a little power. Four more. Four, three, two. Last one. Take it here. Other knee, other knee. Start slow, pull it in. Yes. Breathe up and side, pull it through. Yes, four more, guard is up. Feel that lift and lift, because that's your starting point. Two, last one, let's kick it here. I'm gonna take it a little slower for my balance. It's up to you. You can get a feel for it, again, push kick, push kick, 
or snap it, low or high. If you're here, that's still a kick, right? Up to you, whatever you need for where you are today. You showed up for this workout, that's all that matters is that you're here. Breathe, let's pick up that power. Yes, you can, stay with me. You got four, three, two, one, and breathe. Let's just go a little boxer shuffle to shake all of that out through those hips. Whew. Let's take it angled to one side, guard is back up, back to some punches. With your uppercuts, we're coming up and under right here. Watch me, up and up, join me. Just like our jabs, little pivot on the knees and the hips, but that upper is coming up and under. That sneaky little punch underneath the chin, turning it. Good, nice and strong. Your other hand, remember, has to protect that face. Four more slow, four, three, two. Let's take it to some hooks right here. Hook, hook. So that hook, really think about that elbow coming up and a little circle around. So it's in tight, we're not out here. I don't wanna see that, bring it in. Eight more right here, here we go. Eight, hook, seven, turn into it. Feel those shoulders working. Feel that core, four, three, two, good. Watch me here, we're gonna go upper, hook, upper, hook, yes. Four more, four, upper and hook, three, two. Let's slow it down right here, watch me. We're gonna go jab, jab, hook, that bob and weave. We're gonna turn it right here, jab, Jab, hook, bob and weave. Turn it, two more slow. Jab, jab, hook, bob and weave. And turn it, jab, jab, hook. Power it up right here. Jab, jab, hook, hook, hook. Jab, jab, hook, here, yes. Jab, jab, hook. One more, hook, hook. Stay here, right here, let's go uppers. Right? Just from here, let's finish out this boxing block strong. Power, Whew. uppers, Shh. breathe, yes. Eight more singles right here. We've got eight, Shh. seven, come up and under. Whew. Four more, four, Shh. three, two, hooks. Here we go, bring it around. Huh. Totally fine, again, like to remind you, if you're not the same pace as me, that's okay. If you're faster than me, that's okay too, as long as you have good form. Upper and hook. We got front upper, back hook. Breathe. Yes. Four more. Four. Three. Jab, jab, hook. Bob and weave. Here we go. Jab, jab, hook. Bob and weave. Jab, jab, hook. Finish it out. Strong punch, yes. Shh, shh, huh. Let's go four more. Let's get it strong, yes. Jab, jab, hook. Last two. One more. Huh. Yes, breathe. Water again, catch your breath. Ha, feeling it, I'm sweating. We're gonna grab that step again and that band again. Let's finish out a little lower body, a little upper body. I'm gonna bring it right here where you can see. We're gonna start with a side step up. So we're here, one foot up on top. Feet can be parallel. We're gonna sit like a squat and then tap it up and in. If you're on the ground, just body weight, squat, tap in. Stepping out, tap in. Then we'll add a little side lift for outer thigh, a little tap forward for inner thigh. Let's get it done. Weight in the heels, ready, here we go. Down and up, and up. Sitting low. You don't have to come all the way up. We don't wanna get off balance there. Although we've proven today that I have perfect balance, right? <laughs> Nobody does, that's part of fitness. That is how we train our cores, right? Get low, squat it low if you can, otherwise just keep it a step up. 
four more. Here we go. Four, three, two. Watch me right here. We're gonna go side lift, outer thigh, tap inner thigh, outer thigh, tap inner. If you're on the ground, it's a lift, cross in front. Lift, cross in front. Flex that foot on the outer thigh, little toe tap. You should feel both and that heart rate, right? Two more. Last one. Yes. Take it here. Step it over to that other side. If you're on the ground, we're just shifting to the other side. Little burn, not as bad as last time, right? Take it down and up. Drive up through that heel. Moving laterally. We did that front step up, side step up. We want to be training in all the different planes of motion because we move in our daily life, right? All different ways. Sit low, drop those hips if you can. Drive into the heel. <sighs> Breathe, let's go four. As three, two, outer thigh, inner tap. So little outer lift, little inner tap. Outer lift, inner tap. I'm gonna slide back so I have a little bit more space. Again, if you're on the ground, still get low in that squat. Four more, then we're gonna get some upper body. So let's keep those legs working. Squeeze. Yes, last two. One more right here. Yes, my legs are feeling it. I hope you are too. Let's grab our band right here. Shake it out. There's that heart rate. Whoo! All right, so let's step on our band right in the center. Bicep curl. Again, what I love about the bands, if you need it to be a little tougher, take those feet a little wider. If you need a little less, bring them in. Core engaged, chest open and proud. Let's curl up and down. We're here. All the way through. Yes, full range of motion. So it's tricky, sometimes they're so tight we can just go to here, move your feet in. We wanna have that tension all the way through. Keep it going, breathe, and here, yes. Four more, we've got four, three, two, ah, yes. Stay there, cross those handles. Bring them right up to your hips. We're gonna step out and in. Step out and in. We're here to here. If that is too tight, you can uncross those handles, hold them right at your hips. We just want that resistance through those glutes and outers. If that's not tight enough, hold them a little higher. Pull those shoulder blades in. Keep it going. Last four, four, three, two good one last thing right here we're gonna take it in the center loop those handles triceps watch me i'm gonna push out and in so it's a tricep extension but from this standing position looks like this extend it out and in out and in so your back is still working yes i know four Three, two, one, you did it. Catch your breath, grab a sip of water. Move your step and your band out of the way. We're gonna grab our mats and come down to finish. Our last block is a combo of boxing and sculpting. Let's get our mats and we'll get it done. We're gonna take it down on to our mat. So we're starting all the way down on our back. Watch me first. We're gonna take it, rolling it up into a punch. So we have a few options. You can take it up, punch, punch, slowly down. If that's too much, you can just punch from that crunch position. So core engaged, take it over in three, two, one. Here we go, up, punch, punch, slow on your way down. So either way, we want the power coming up, but we really wanna resist it on the way down. So we're not just dropping into it, we're using that core to resist. If you're just crunching, same thing. Slow, slow, slow. Deep core to pull you up. 
and then resist on the way down, all the way through. Think about those strong jabs across. If you think about it, alternate your lead arm, but don't worry too much about it. We're just getting it done. Let's go two more. Resist. Last one, up. And then let's come all the way up to a seated position, whatever you need to do to get there. We're gonna cross from here. So think of that Russian twist that we often do. We're gonna cross punch. So cross, center, cross, center. Join me here. If that's too much for your back, you can take this to a seated position. That works too. You're still gonna get that core work like we do in our boxing. If you can lean back a little further, that works too. Or even take those feet up, cross it over, cross, center. So slower punches, but lots of work through that core. Still punching out, pulling back, keeping that good form. Can you reach a little further? Get those obliques working. Let's go four, three, oh, burn two. Last one, stretch it out and over. Stretch your back right through there. Oh, let's come all the way down. So we're coming down, forward facing. We're gonna do a little Superman. So that Superman that we know and love, we're lifting and lowering, but we're gonna grab our band. So again, grabbing in the center, or you can fold it over. We're gonna do a little lift, squeeze out, and drop it down. So figure out where you need to be for resistance. We're squeezing in the glutes, lower back, squeezing in the shoulders, lots of back, lots of core. Here we go, lift it up and squeeze, and down. Up and squeeze, and down. So you can have a lot of resistance like I do, looped over, or again, just take it right here, squeeze it out wide. We're getting all through the back. You feel like you can get more range of motion here? Take it here. Squeeze. Two more right here. You don't have to lift up super high to feel that, right? Last one, can we hold it here? Just hold for four. Keep breathing. Three, I know, slow counting. Two. Last one. Stretch it up on those elbows. Last thing right here. We're gonna come up into a plank. Let's come up on elbows. We're gonna take it, punch forward, punch forward. That's all we got. Punching from that plank, alternating side to side. Tuck that pelvis in, zip up that core, tighten out legs and glutes. Here we go. Punch and punch. So just punch from a plank. You need to drop to those knees. If that's better for you, that works. But let's finish it out strong. Almost done with this workout. All the fire you had in those punches from the kickboxing round, I wanna see it from this plank. Here we go. Punch, punch. Keep breathing through it. Four more, four, three, two, stay lifted, and done. Ah, oh, up into oh, a little cobra or up dog, whatever is good for you. If you wanna bring those hands here, stretch through that back. I know, ah, oh, feeling it. Sit back into the hips, into that child's pose, reach those hands forward, and really lengthen through those fingertips. So we wanna stretch through the back, but also through those shoulders, breathe into it here. Hopefully that went quick for you. That's one of the reasons I love doing these little five minute blocks round through. Much easier for our brains when we just know we have to get through four minutes or five minutes. So fun to incorporate a lot of different equipment. Going back from body weight to bands to steps. Roll back onto your feet. Come up halfway, just get a little pedal through your feet there. Let everything stretch and relax. And then slowly roll it up. Take your time. Ah, coming up, yes. Stretch those arms back, open them up. Press those thumbs to the back. If you can grab them, grab them. Otherwise, just stretch and little hinge, reaching up through here. And then just the opposite. Of course, make sure you get some more flexibility and mobility work on your own. 
come back to this workout anytime you want to get both that cardio and that sculpting. Always good to get it all in in just 30 minutes. Taking it here to here. Rolls through those shoulders. Thank you for showing up today. Thank your body for showing up for you today. Shake everything out. One big deep breath in. You did it! Thank you for moving with me in this kickboxing cardio sculpt workout. I hope you feel that energy and you can take it with you throughout the rest of your day. I'm Amy and I will see you back here for Class Fit Sugar.